Well guys, you can probably tell what this is, mainly because I titled the video and put it on the thumbnail and all that, but it's a lot of games, so uh, we should get started. But before I do, notice it's just me in these boxes. My daughter is not here. Um, and that's because what I'm about to unbox is Hate by Cool Mini or Not, and it's not exactly nine-year-old princess girl uh, stuff. So if you're a nine-year-old princess girl, might not want to watch this unboxing, or if you just happen to not like the game Hate, might not watch this unboxing, but I am excited because I like some good miniatures and a cool looking game. That's what this is. So let's get started. Haha, <laughs> alright, so you thought I was going to go to the table right after the little logo thing, but I didn't. I'm still here. The reason is because I just wanted to do a quick shout out to all my patrons. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. I love every single one of you. No, like seriously, I recognize you instantly in the comments or anything like that. I know your guys' names. We talk a lot on Discord and whatnot, and I just want to say thank you for that. If you're not part of this awesome group that helps kind of support and run this channel, make it independent so I don't have to rely on a whole bunch of corporations telling me to tell you to buy their stuff, then uh, maybe check out the link below in the description and uh, see for yourself if it's something you're interested in. Perhaps you just want some benefits, perhaps you just want to throw me a bone. Either way, that's down in the description below. Uh, helps do stuff like this for the channel. And uh, now let's actually get started. Alright, so here we have the giant hate box. This is massive, so it barely even fits on my table here. So uh, hopefully, once we get into the box, the components themselves aren't huge. And so we're, we're going to manage. I'm also going to try it with this broken finger of mine. We'll see how that works. I'll probably just end up hurting myself. I'll hate the whole experience, and uh, that'll be fitting. All right. Oh, gosh. This is heavy. Uh, all right. Looks like we're going to have to get into it from the underside. By the looks of it. Oh, there we are. So all in all, this was 33 pounds of game. Uh, which is a lot, as you know. And I'm also not doing this with my helper, obviously. My daughter normally does help, and that is going to mean I'm going to be really messy. All right. All right. And our first look. There it is. All right. Oh, I'm going to pull this out off camera. So bear with me one moment. Now, Hate is a uh, Kickstarter exclusive, and like Claustrophobia, they are barely putting anything on here. This is almost full hour. Obviously not quite. They got the Guillotine Games here. They got the Simon here. They got Adrian Smith here, who is kind of the IP creator and artist. So, uh, uh, but really close, really close. However, they still put the stuff on the back. Claustrophobia didn't, because again, you're not going to see a lot of this. There are retailers that did back this, and you can get it that way. But otherwise, pretty much, if you're getting this, you know what it is you're getting. Uh, 18 plus here, again, not for little uh, girl princesses. It says 60 minutes, two to six players, though really it's a two-player game. You can do a few free-for-alls that we unlocked via stretch goals, and you can play multiple games at the same time and combine them all into a campaign system. Maybe I'll get into that in the First Impressions review, which I'm sure I will do. And a ton of minis. Oh, look at all this. Is, this is crazy. What I like about Hate already is just the amount of unique sculpts. As a painter, especially somebody who hates batch painting, there's no more than two of any mini in here. And even that's quite rare, typically, like these two guys here, as you can see. So typically, unique sculpts, which I'm always a huge fan of. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's, let's actually break this bad boy open. This has been long in the making. I suppose it's kind of ironic saying after I unboxed Forbidden Fortress, but... Either way, I've been waiting for it for a while. Uh, fun tip, Hate is actually the very first uh, video of mine, the Hate Details video, that really had me b uh, break out, I, I suppose, as a YouTuber. Uh, because everybody was so focused on the theme, and everybody was so focused on the minis, which, as you know, I like, that nobody was discussing the gameplay. Nobody. I could not find really anything besides stuff from Cool Winner Out themselves about the game. So I decided to actually create this, this details 
about the game and how it played. Because I thought the whole scar system was cool and the village upgrade system was cool. I, I actually think this game looks fun. Uh, so, uh, so sue me, I guess. And uh, when I did that, it kind of exploded, probably because, again, of the theme and people were talking about it and it was, you know, oh, is it bad? Is it good? I can tell you right now. So this box here, you hear that? Make sure you can hear that. Yeah, mm-hmm. It got that wonderful texture on there. I love it. Very matte, very thick, very much a fan of that, which it needs to be when it's this big and there's no, like, supports. It's got to be kind of thicker here, which I really do appreciate. Look at the storage in this. This is exciting. It looks like everything comes in a bag, which is nice. Um, these are loose, but it looks like it goes right up to the... Let's look at a little store here. Uh, I'll be interested to see because there is a space here. Um, and obviously space is here, so these can become loose, potentially slide around. I'll have to see. I don't know, but I, I sometimes, especially with the great art like this, I like to store it vertically where I can see the art, the amazing art by Adrian Smith. And uh, sometimes with these storage solutions, which I do appreciate, don't get me wrong, is you do that and you hear a... <laughs> You know, as it just like crashes everywhere, and you just hear all your like hundred dollar components just falling and getting mixed, and that is no fun. It's very hard to do without a lid on top to make it work, and there is no lid on top of at least these topmost ones. Uh, so, uh, if I were to improve anything so far, it'd be to see if I could get a lid on top of these. All right. Let's see, this is a campaign map, so you just get a whole bunch of them, because you get to like name your tribe and, you know, try and go in the center and you get the command points and it looks like you can do your, your scoring system here and I forget the, the colors mean different stuff you can do because you can have like the most resources or whatnot. So plenty of those. I like the sepia color look that they got here. Here's the rule book. This has been available for like forever. Full art. Looks like lots of, uh... Examples like this. Let's look for an index. Look for an in index. There you go. Props. I can already tell this is better than half the rule books I get just for that. Look at all those arrows. Arrows are awesome. I love arrows. Sometimes they'll put like little numbers and you gotta match the numbers. I, I, I like it when I can just follow an error. An arrow. So that's cool. Fun stuff. Cool. Like it. Like it. Thanks for that index. Alright, now what do we got here? These look like and it has actually been a while. Let's see how much I remember here. These look almost like the uh, scenarios, right? Because you got the little setup here, and um, it's kind of what they what they do here. I don't know if these are location based. I'm assuming they are, um, in the sense that uh, on that campaign map, because I know the the middle one is where the tyrant is, and you can win him. There's different ones where the mercenaries are different. Uh huh. Okay. I uh, get your reward. Anyway, front and back of these. So there's a ton here. This is not bad. Front and back of each of these. I'm all right with that. That's cool. That's cool. That's a lot of stuff. All about that content. What do we got here? What do we got here? Aha, the village. So again, just like the other one, full art. I don't think I've ever seen the back of this. That's interesting. I don't know exactly what that is. Interesting. So you got your torture pit and the training grounds and the oven and the hall of heroes and the shaman hunt and you can, you know, just really kind of upgrade this village and do different things to make your clan work unique even among the unique clans. All right. Let's uh let's take a look. Spacer, I'm going to keep that cuz that's always nice again. And uh just because it does it. And you know, it's always kind of nice when it's this and not just cardboard. Um, it makes it certain you know exactly what this is for, which is kind of nice. Okay. Not lose that, hopefully. Let's look at some of these. Let's do it. These were cool. They, I remember they, they had an update about like how big do we make this, right? Because it needs to be a token, but it also needs to have some detail here. You can see the sprue here. It will need some cleanup. This has obviously been clipped off the sprue. Let me hold that up for you guys. There you go. You see what I'm talking about there? This little bit right here. Uh, let me make sure I have my pointer stick. My desk is a mess. Don't judge me. I got it. I got it. Oh, I dropped it. All right. 
See, I struggle without a helper. I need, I need, I need somebody else. Anyway, right here, you can kind of see a little sprue there. But the detail is awesome. The that you can see the little ridges and the knuckles. Very cool. Very nice. Um, it looks like are they? <laughs> Let's see if they're right or left-handed. Um, it looks like they are all left-handed. Um, because right would be on the other side. Maybe they're mixed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anybody even thought of that. Maybe I'm thinking of it wrong. Oh boy, it's hot in here. It is actually snowing today. It's been snowing at the end of February for whatever reason. It's almost March and we're finally getting snow. And so the heater's on. Whew. A little warm. All right, let's look at some of these dice. Can take a nice close look at them here. Uh, so I do love the color. This red is super noticeable on the black, which I appreciate. Um, you know, you can get those those scuff marks that, um, you know, I always wish that they would somehow make them out of material that wouldn't scuff so much. Just think that would look nicer. I don't know what this discoloration is here. Maybe it just nicks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, so you get uh, two sets of these by the looks of it. See, I'm not even going to be able to do it with my, my finger. Apologies, guys. Let me... Don't want to miss a dice, because I will. I will, like, fall down a vent or something. Maybe we'll clog that heater up. I don't know. I don't know. This is quite nice, by the way. This is fairly thick. It's not super flimsy. You don't hear that. You don't hear that. You hear, uh, like, the crinkling, like like a paper almost. Uh, huge bases here. These are the hard-style base clips, not the soft kind. Same with this. Uh, they look pretty standard. Sometimes... You'll, you'll notice that there's a little bit too much of a tag inside. These look all the same. They look immaculate. I'm fine with that. All right, let's look at some of these skull tokens here. Lots of 3D tokens. And again, this is base game. I mean, again, it's Kickstarter only, so there's no, like, retail option. But look at that. I never, re I never realized that it's angled up, so you can see underneath, like, inside the jaw. That's uh, Most people wouldn't do that. They would put it uh, just straight down. Uh, so there is definitely some trim going on here between the sprue and the trim. It looks like there's going to be kind of a lot of cleanup between them. A little bit of a seam line. You can see the two halves of the mold. But uh, design-wise, I really dig the idea that, first of all, it's angled up. But also, also, see, now where'd my pointer stick go? Right here. You see right here how it's actually moved up. So you can tell this was pushed down onto the spike and the spike came through here. So it's actually, you see here, bulged up. Um, it's not just flat, there's not just cracks. It, it, it's obvious that it, the motion that happened to put it in this current situation. Really like that, very cool. Look how many you get, that's insane, that's cool. And that those deep recessed eyes wash really well, darken up a lot. You can uh, get those kind of high ridges with a dry brush, look great. All right, let's look at these. Uh, so some red versions of the same thing, plus some fire. Let's look at the fire here. Very basic kind of fire token, just kind of what you'd expect here. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the design. It's kind of uh, blowing the wind a little bit. Yeah, pretty, pretty basic there. Uh, the colors, though, really bright colors. So if you're not a painter, um, these will really stand out, especially on the on the board here. Let's look at the texture on these. These are the same as these, they're just a different size, so I'm just gonna really look at one here, uh, one kind, that is, and see. So even this, they could have gone flat, right? This would have looked cool by itself, just smooth with the symbol, kind of like a die. But they actually added this texture in, which means if you wanted to, you could even paint this, or you could darken this up or something, and give it a dry brush, but either way, just the feel of it is what I appreciate. So again, these games are physical. I'm gonna be touching this 3D token. The fact that it has this texture, this is inlaid, and then there's this kind of rocky, dried mud kind of texture on it that I really like. And there doesn't look like, this is where the sprue came off and it looks like it was trimmed nicely. Um, I don't really see anything standing out here. So really happy with those, those are nice. I really like that they did that. All right, a lot of you are probably wondering about the uh, all the sleeves. Uh, so I did see their recent update that the sleeves do 
See how it's not quite transparent? You can tell I'm hot, look at that. <laughs> not quite transparent. That is because there's actually a film on the back. Uh, so this is the front, so you can be uh, whatever that is. And then you gotta reference that. That's gonna probably be my biggest bummer of playing the game is just all the referencing into random. Can I, can I get it? So they said use tape if it doesn't come, but a lot of them will come. I'm gonna grab one that's not going to, aren't I? Oh man, come on. I know you want to. Maybe do. So you can see it. Oh, it's really fine. I'm trying to go too much. Look at that. That's what you want to do. So you're gonna have to do that with all of them. Um, I, I'm not sure why. Probably to help maybe from scratching while there's... I don't know. I don't know why they have the film there. But now you can see it is perfectly clear. And so you can just slot them right on your people. Just slightly big enough to... Uh, uh, perfect fit looks like on there. So that's cool. So that's how those work. Uh, and you get a ton of them. I mean... It, it's kind of crazy the amount of content you get in this game. And again, this is like, if you just back to bare minimum, this is everything you got. I mean, so you got more sleeves here. These are clear. Kind of interesting because you can sleeve your cards regardless, perhaps. And then, yeah, that's right. So these are, gosh darn it. These are the sleeves. And then these are the stuff you put into the sleeve um, that overlay the card. So let's actually get one of the sleeves themselves out just so we can see. So, this is the sleeve you'd use. They seem nice to me as a Magic the Gathering player. I'd be happy with this. There's not a lot of film on the side here. Uh, now it looks like a lot of overlap here. They open nicely. Super happy about that. That's that's nice quality. And I imagine they have to be because you're putting more than one card in at, at a time. Will be a little bit thicker. Let's look at some of these cards here. Uh, these look more boring than these. So let's do these. Now again, it's kind of interesting because the cards are going to be sleeved, so I care a little bit less about the card quality. Obviously, I want them good, but as far as I know, you're not really like shuffling or anything like that that I recall. Um, I love the full art that they have here. Always a fan of that. These look great. They have a shininess, as you can tell. Look at that. I'll blind you with them. Um, I love these armor dudes, by the way. They're going to stand out a lot with the kind of shiny armor. So, um, they're, they're sufficient. They're quite thin. It's not, I mean, yeah, you're going you're gonna to want sleeves on these, probably. Um, they're a standard board game uh, that I would get. Not exceptional. Uh, except for per perhaps just the, the quality of the print. Um, I'm noticing a little bit of, you know, just kind of scuffiness on the side right out of the box. Um, especially in this corner here, it's kind of interesting, not so much in this one. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. The uh, It's a little bit of scuffiness, but man, do these look good. There's a ton of them. They just keep going. That guy's awesome. It was one of the first ones they teased. Just cool stuff. All right, so put those back in. But again, no bag for these, so they just kind of set in here. And uh, so when you put a vertical, you'll hear them kind of jostle around in there. All right, let's, uh, oh, wait, a couple things here. These are, I guess, just trays I can take out. Let me do that. Let's get rid of this stuff, huh? Oh, that's heavy. All right. <laughs> look at all this brown! <laughs> Alright, let's look at some of this uh, game board here. Come on. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Man, I used to struggle so much doing that. I'm still hitting the camera. Look at that. Right as I get overconfident. I'm so awesome at unboxings. Alright, get out of here. Alright, so as you can see... There's one. Looks like so you got. Ooh, that's a camera. The microphone there. All right, so here's one. See if the back is any different. <laughs> and yes, it is. It's black. All right, not double sided. That's fine. Doesn't have to be. Kind of interesting though because they included two. Um, uh, I don't recall if the having a second player play. This is the same as you can tell. 
um, at the same time came in the core box or not. Looks like it probably did, so you get two board games here. Or game boards, I guess you could say. All right, uh, we're also gonna have to punch these out, which is funny because I don't need these. I got the, uh, I, I went all in on this. This is gonna be a full unboxing of every single thing you could get here, uh, if I recall. Um, <laughs> there might have been like a, so typically if there's like a, a dice set or, uh, you know, like card holders and I don't typically get stuff like that. Um, it's probably one of those things where I don't know what I'm missing <laughs> and so I don't ever feel the need to get it, uh, which, you know, is whatever. <sighs> I think I did the same thing with an SSD on my computer. I never went with an, I just had a 7200 RPM hard drive. And I was like, ah, that's, you know, I mean, yeah, sure, an SSD, but they're kind of expensive, and I can always get more storage for less, and when I got an SSD, I'm like, oh, man, this is fast, this is nice. All right, let's see, ready? Not, not touching. <laughs> I'm just going to come in that way. All right, that's going to, come on now. There we go, maybe this is that corner, huh? All right, so you do have to put a little bit of force in them. Look at that, look at that. Uh, but let's see how it's leaving tags. A little bit here. Um, this is again fine, not not terrible. Uh, you can actually barely feel it, but it is there. Um, you can actually see here it was lifting up the uh, the image on the back. You see right here and here, and then here and here. So you can see it just right off the bat there. This one obviously looks a little bit better. That's probably the worst one here. You always have the potential of having it like rip the the image off um but these are not that and they feel good they have a little bit of a texture to them and they're plenty plenty thick and sturdy happy about it and that's fine and i guess i'm not necessarily using it but let's see you got that throw it away i'm not throwing it away i got some rocks uh so these are, are cool because you flip them over so i will need these because you need the inside of it because it'll tell you what's inside of it right resources and uh, I don't know. Not not innocence on that one. <laughs> Whatever it is. Uh, if I remember correctly. So you kind of have to have that below it, and then you put the 3D part on top. Alright. There's that. Oh. Then we're getting to the minis, guys. Look at that. This is still... Look, look. It's like barely... Barely even out. You know what? Let's do the small one first. <laughs> the small one. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of cool. They have these uh, colored bases, so you don't have to put a ring around them. Uh, again, different games are different just because some games you're swapping things or they can be used for different people, And but these tribes are all kind of the same. What's nice is it does give you a color to kind of base off of, though. When I prime it, it's going to be all primed. Um, a little bit of... Uh, terrain here uh, with some mold line on it uh, so that he can have his foot up like that and still be super secure. I appreciate that. Uh, he does have toes. I see toes. Does he have hands? Where are his hands? I see a finger. And some more fingers. A little muddy here, to be honest. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's there, it's just barely, there's a crease uh, across the fingers that are deeper than the finger recesses. Um, kind of a bummer. Nice ripples here. Uh, you can see that these kind of teeth things are tied down. Super hard, uh, you know, this is, I don't know if it's all ABS or what, but nothing bent here so far. Uh, see, here are the, um, the armor people. So the, so this part is armored, like this bright gold, and this is like covered, stitched on, like a, a Rhinox hide kind of dark leather. So it's going to really stand out, this half and half part. Uh, really like that. A chain. The chain looks good. You should always look at like chains and see how they are. They're a good kind of determination for overall quality. Uh, much more obvious fingers here. Uh, in fact, his, his hand itself just looks a bit bigger on this guy. Knows what's going on there. It looks like he's like pokey. Uh, the skulls look to scale. So if I take out this guy here, put him there, see? That could be his skull. Sometimes they'll put the uh, a weird kind of scale where they're too small or too big, but that's perfect. 
Uh, yeah, this guy turned out great. Here's another chain. You can see that there. Uh, really happy with the quality of this one. Very nice. Didn't see any like noticeable hairlines either. Uh, here's another guy. You can see his fingers gripping the blade right there. He's got his like a little mouth open. You can see the little ridges there in the middle. Let me get a little closer for you guys. Sorry about that. In the middle of his mouth looks. I'll have to look at the art. I forget what's in there. I don't know if that's a tongue or what. Uh, again, skulls look good. The texture here is amazing. The chains here. Look at the little tiny chains there. Immaculate. Like they came out great. Wonderful job there. Really have that's that's a great mini. All right, let's uh let's look at some other ones. So here's a uh, shaman, I believe, and again you can see her fingers here. Okay, she's got like a little a tiny skull up here. So I don't know if this is a pygmy kind of decorative skull or what, but obviously it's smaller than her head, so there is a difference there. Um, again, little tiny details here. Uh, the amount of detail on these minis, like the amount of stuff, is really impressive. I like the like. Because I imagine these would make noise, would like make clinking noises as she moves. I can imagine kind of like uh, if you were walking like a western, you got that stuff on your boots that I can't think of the name of right now. You get that little clinkety clackety. That's what I always imagine that looks like. I like that's folded out there. You can see her hair. Very cool. I like it. All right, let's look at one more here. Let's look at. Oh man. <laughs> okay, maybe two more. So this guy. Look, look how beefy this dude is. This is like the bane of this this group here. And it looks like there's hands here? I don't know what's going on. It looks like it's attached to this, but those look like hands, not paws. <laughs> kind of hard to tell, but um, the, the separation here, it looks like it's one mold. But the clear, crisp line, especially here, makes it... Sorry about that. Makes it look like... It's it's almost like on top of them, like it's two separate ones. Same here, you can see how it 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 just gets that even that shadow there. It makes it look like this is on top of the mini as something separate versus all one mold that you get sometimes. So I really like that. Uh, very cool. Again, I've not seen anything curved. Um, maybe that. Maybe uh, like it, it looks curved. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not, but it looks like it's probably supposed to be a little bit straighter. Maybe I spoke too soon there detail there. Can you hear that? Crazy amount of detail there. And the texture on here. This is almost so fine texture like this big gash will show up. These little ones, I don't think they're going to survive my painting. Or right, one more because I saw many is cool. I mean there's so many. There's so many. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this person. Like they're like their faces covered. They got like this weird hatchet thing going on. So you'll see this sometimes when it is a one mold thing. You see right here this in between is all plastic when really there shouldn't really be anything there. Like that's a support structure that ideally you would be able to cut out. Um, perhaps it was just because that's so skinny there. I would prefer the matcher to thicken that up and get rid of that. It doesn't have to be exactly like the art. I would have been fine fattening that up. My personal preference anyway. Again, you get kind of the... Oh, that's close. I think it's still a little small, but I think it's missing the bottom jaw too. But like, is that one there? I can't tell. Oh man, no, it's just, it's just, those are to scale. Those are people's heads. You can see kind of the, the pore spot here. A little trimming will do there. All right, I just, I mean, there's so many, so many cool guys. I mean, like just awesome, amazing looking, unique looking minis here. So here's one of the, the final stretch goals you got. This is the hero, uh, at least, uh, well, okay, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna spoil anything per se, but uh, this this guy's cool. <laughs> He's a little clacking around. I love. Look at that. It's like three layers. You got that. You got that. You got that. And then him below it. Very cool. Um, fingers are barely, barely there, but he's super tiny too. The pygmy guy. All right. <laughs> there's there's one tray. Uh, so second tray. Ah, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I love this. Look at the little guy he's got. A little amputee leg, like, midget. Midget dude going on. Um, again, this dude's so beefed and bulked up. The chains here look great. This is actually separate. You can tell they probably did a post right in here into his stomach. Uh, so you get that nice separation there, which, you know, makes a little bit more sense of having everything molded together. Really like that. 
Again, not sure if that should be straight. I'll probably try and straighten that a little bit. So a few bent, barely bent, um, weapons here. And oddly, this is less textured than I would think. But, you know, again, I'll have to look at the art. Maybe it's just like a fresh blacksmith's version. Not sure. Really cool shield here. Like, again, all the different layers. The chain wrapping into there. Uh, again, with the tiny heads. Um, they actually, maybe, maybe these guys aren't always useful and he just collects them when they're not useful. Who knows what's going on there? Oh man, so much. Look at this, the shaman. This is one of the first ones again that I saw and just looks cool. Like a great pose, how she's walking forward with her arms raised, looking up, uh, to the skies. You can tell she's probably chanting something. I can't quite tell if her mouth is open, but overall just really, really cool. These are really Really tiny, they're actually a little pokey. <laughs> uh, very cool, very cool. Like that one, like that one. Oh man, and see, they're not all like just shamans. Like, look at this chick, like, she's ready to kill. I want to show my wife this one, she'll like this one. This one's just like this woman's ready to murder. Look at look at that six pack she's got going on there. Her abs are like so defined. Uh, this is this, this uh, metal clink stuff here is cool. You get the like stitching down in there. Again, it's not just that there's some hide in here, this is a different layer, but then there's like the stitching to it and just the amount of detail here is crazy. Um, I love how the fur is like flowing both ways um, and bulged out with her arms out like that. Very cool. Like that. Dig that. Look at, look at this guy. This. So here, this is probably the biggest amount of flash I have seen. Uh, Coleman, you're not doing a while. Like you can see the the flash here. It's pretty much all around this has a lot, but this guy is awesome. Look at a little tiny texture there, little tiny ripples here. So again, there's texture here. It might show up here in these bigger ones, these smaller ones here. A little bit more smooth. It'll probably be hidden in my paint. I might have to paint those on, which I don't like. Um, some of it's just again the the scale of the, the the texture you know it's not it's a very fine texture and so sometimes it can get kind of hard uh to show up in the front in fact this whole side look look at that that's some huge flash i wonder i have two of them let's see if the other one's like that get in there no this one's much better so yeah so it's just kind of a bad mold there a little bit of flash here not too bad um this is still kind of the same but uh yeah, that was just kind of a a bad one when it came to the flash. Again, I, I can I can take that off. It's no big deal. You know, not super concerned about that. Oh, these 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 chicks are cool. These uh young bloods are really cool. Again, I love how just their big giant helmet here. Very neat. Uh, obviously wooden here. All around, very very neat. All right, let's. Oh wait, we gotta look at this guy, and then we'll move on. Look at look at him. Is that not great or what? Oh man, the folds here look amazing. Love the folds here. A little bit of clean up here, but the sculpt design of these folds, love it. And this hair. Um, so they did the, the Oni of Spite, I believe, in Rising Sun, and the hair and skull mix didn't look as good as this. This looks perfect. This is fantastic. Um, really, really dig that. He's like covered in it. Wow. Do like skulls. There's people who like skulls even more than that, though. So we'll get to that uh, soon enough. All right, let's keep going. All right, we are almost to the copious amounts of expansions that I have. Some of those are really, really cool. But these guys. Oh no! Oh, sad day. You know. What prevents this is a lid. So you put a lid on it, and they don't, they don't do this when you ship them. It's a, kind of a cool idea that I, I think uh, <laughs> more should probably try. But look, I don't even know how this. I don't even know what I'm doing, man. Look, this is everywhere. Not what I had in mind in my unboxing, guys. Sorry about that. Nothing I can do about it. This is what it is. Wow, this. Okay. <laughs> These are heavy, like these are heavier than I thought. I don't know if, you hear that? Like that's how hard it is. Like it's very, very detailed. So again, shipping kind of a bummer. I would love some lids on this, but 
Wow, the detail here. I mean, talk about immaculate. The vein going up his arm, the texture on his skin. Um, I love how he's looking down. I think that's very fitting for him to look down. Um, and again, you can see because he has this, part of it's because he's got a balance, right? Because he has this kind of held slightly out, he's not quite centered on on his base, which I always like when you do something a little bit smarter. And it gives us people who like to base something to do. By the way, non-textured bases here. Um, just the detail here. Uh, the wrapping is clear and it goes into there. You can tell just a cool, cool man. This is a tyrant, kind of the big bad boy. Um, that's great. It's about as fine texture as you can get. Um, this, in fact, this ridge out here, I don't think will take a wash. That's probably too small. This will, this, I'm not sure about that. I have to paint that on. Um, and again, not sure how bent it's supposed to be. You can tell it's not quite straight there. Um, but wow, that is the, <laughs> the tiny bit of chain mail under there. Look at that. In fact, so some of this, again, is almost too fine, right? Where you can do it, but you can't... Oh, look at that. That is sad. Sad day. It's because this guy was moved, and so he was knocking it down the whole time. And what is this? Someone's missing his base. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> wow. The shipping on this could have been better, that's for sure. The assembly on this could have been better. I'm assuming... I don't know what's going on here. Look, 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 look at that. I'm gonna hold him up like this. Um, I might have to try, I don't know, it looks so glued on too. I might have to get this replaced. Um, cause that is a huge gap in here. And, uh, this is really bent. And, but it's still like really glued onto his butt here. Like really glued on so I can't like easily pop it off. Could try heating it up a bit. The detail in the mini itself, speaking to that, is fantastic. Um, the assembly and shipment kind of was unfortunate on him. Uh, so these are, by the way, a lot of the princes, and, um, so this is like one of the princes, and he's got this cool little, I like the top here. So you never really saw the top of that. I like that. That's cool. Um, he's got one of the coolest swords, I think, but again, it's bent because of the shipment. Really unfortunate on that. I mean, this I can fix with hot, hot water, I am assuming, but... Kind of a bummer on that. The assembly here looks better. A little bit of a gap here. Um, but it's like perfect here and perfect here. It's just right there. I might stuff some stuff there. Uh, a little bit of gap here. Again, green stuff will work on that. Uh, and you can tell his mold line here. Let's see here. Let's, well, here, let's look at the guy who lost his base. So you can see. He probably just didn't put enough glue on here. There's not a whole lot here. First of all, when you're gluing stuff, especially plastic to plastic, I don't even know if he was glued. <laughs> well, he should fit in like that. I'm not sure. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like there's any glue there. Um, you should scuff it up. So you'll take your your blade and you'll like cut it in like a hash mark, you know, like crisscross. And that uh, tiny little stuff, when you get like plastic glue, will help melt it. If you're super glue, you don't have to worry about it as much. You still do it to increase the surface area, though. Um, really like the... What is that? Is that mine? I don't think that's mine. The hands flayed out here are kind of cool. Um, except it looks like they're being swooshed out, and unless he just took a step back, perhaps. doesn't seem to quite match this, his pose. Um, but cool nonetheless. Again, the texture detail. It's insane on these. Crazy. Again, I'm not sure... Oh, that could have been easy. Not sure how that's how it's supposed to be, and that's gonna be a pain to paint right here. Make a little pain in that. All right, these guys are just great. I'm just gonna show you a couple of these now and stop talking so much about it. You guys know what I like, what I don't like, what I look for, the chains and stuff like that. So you can see right here, this chain is a little bit cleaner than this chain, right? Which happens. I mean, nothing. This these aren't resin, right? I mean, I'm not. I wasn't paying for it. Just something to note if you want to paint it. Perfect chain here. Uh, that's cool. They're all wrapped up in there. I did that. This is the armored guy, uh, their prince, which looks fantastic. Great pose. Fantastic pose there. One of my favorites. This was one of the uh, things out of her free. Again, a little bit of a... I might pop him out and... Well, yeah, I can probably add some texture in there. That'll be quicker. Looks awesome. 
What happened there? What is that? Was he shot? Somebody shoot my mini? People shoot my mini. Uh, this is the mall. Very cool. Huge guy. Big seam here. I'm gonna have to trim that up. Uh, shouldn't be too bad though. The angle's kind of odd. Uh, a little bit of gap fill there. Uh, great face. Look at those little tiny indents of eyes. That's fantastic. <laughs> really good. <laughs> this was separate. They had to stick that in there. <laughs> Gross. It would have been weird to be in the factory and all day, every day, you just put this guy together for like eight hours. It'd like put you in a weird headspace, you know? It'd just be weird. Uh, another one of the guys we got late. Very cool. Like him. We didn't see his sculpt for a while. And these guys are just... Look at the texture there. Oh, that wash is going to look awesome on that. He's grimacing. I love the facial expression. Love it. Wow. Great looking guy here. I love all the spikes and stuff there. I mean, there's, there's just so many... So many. All right. So many minis. <laughs> Let's get the big box. All right. So now we have this box and we're going to open this up. This has all the goodies, the art book, all the expansions for the other tribes. The only thing I didn't get is I didn't get like the third or fourth player kind of expansion thing where you can have another of everything. Um, and I only got one copy of the plateaus and the trees. I didn't multiply that by any. You know, some people got several. I wasn't too concerned about it. But either way, we'll be able to see everything, which is good. Everything can be seen. We had. Let's see. What do I got here? Well that's look, that's a good size box for that. That's not bad at all. Because sometimes when you when you don't order different amounts, they can package it kind of weird. 3D plastic cuts. Um Alright, you know what? I'm going to. Looks like there's some more in there. Let's go ahead and move this to the side. I'll take it out one by one. How about that? All right, let's look at these plastic huts. These look fun. So not everything's, you know, retail packaging, but they're good. They stack. See, I wasn't sure if they'd stack or not, um, but they seem to stack quite well. It's kind of right there. Not bad. Very thick. Look how thick that is. And that is nice. Some great detail on there. I like it. You can see where the entrance is. So you'd place this over the tile and then you'd lift it up. So nice. I'm glad those those store so well. Those are kind of the one thing I wasn't sure about because it's, you know, the plateaus seem to fit together and all that, but those I wasn't sure. I'll take all these odd boxes out first. 3D plastic trees, eight trees. Let's see these eight trees. All right. Very nice. Looks like it's well put together. I like that there's a little bit of a uh, texture around. It's not just the roots, so they can kind of go into it just fine. Uh, very nice. And it'll, it'll, should sit a little bit nicer too, right? If it, oh, calm down. This axe is kind of a base. Um, it is hollowed out, which is fine. Just means it's not so heavy. Reduces the shipping cost a little bit. I like the little knot in there. Are they different? They look different. Yeah. You see these have different tops. So, uh, I don't know how many unique sculpts are. Oh, is it the same? Oh, it's the same. I'm so cool. Are they all the same? I think they're all the same. Fair enough. Fine, fine. They're all the same. But they're so different that uh, apparently you can fool somebody and they it's not like you're putting them right next to each other too. You're not having a forest in this game, that's for sure. Have you seen these trees? They I haven't had leaves for a while. Come on. Do you hear that crinkle here? That's that cheaper plastic I was talking about. It's fine. I mean, these are just trees, but uh, the, the core box had thicker uh, plastic tray. Didn't uh, didn't uh, sound so horrendous. Three D plastic plateaus, and then we're getting to the tribes. Again, they stack nicely. I like that. They stack kind of like Legos, right? So you can keep 
stack them however you wish. Does that work? No, does it have to go that way? Maybe it has to go that way, so it looks like it. Uh, people didn't like the little bit of overhang you get. Um, you can see right there, the little tiny bit there. I'm, I don't care. I'm fine with it. Uh, so you got some skulls on here. Uh, nothing here is as defined. There's some texture here, but not enough to dry brush. Um, so you might want to get some texture paint in. You know, I'm just going to put some in different places to kind of break it up a little bit. This will look fairly smooth by the time you're washing it. These deep gashes, you'll be able to uh, to keep the, all the lines and whatnot. And they look cool. So and you can build kind of whatever it is that you need to, I guess. Oh, that sounds lovely. And then you would put this, you know, I don't know, like like that. And there you go. There's your, your battlegrounds, right? So, cool. Like it. Again, people got more than one. I just got the one. Perhaps that's a mistake. Perhaps not. I don't know. What's going on? It's always hard to tell how many you need. Um, and they might have even said, hey, you should get two trees to have everything or something. I don't know. Oh, sorry about that sound. Um... But it would be nice to be like, hey, how many plateaus do I need to do every mission fully plateaued? All right, the Vornash. These are cool. Probably one of the most common ones people got because there was, it's like this reptile race. And uh, it just looks so unique. This one and like the undead tree people, I think, are probably the biggest sellers um, that they had. Plus maybe the Mother Prophecy box. But I bet these probably even beat that hard to tell i appreciate that they added this kind of again it's not really retail but they added this anyway which i do appreciate uh, i just think it looks cool is the black and white is how the uh the comics are which i wished so bad that they would have been able to do but they didn't so what's cool about them is they can lay these traps down punch out oh do you see that punch out no effect nah, that's a good trap but this is a bad trap no effect Oh, there's a KO this figure. Dang, that sucks. Um, anyway, these punch out fantastic. That was great. Did you see that? That was nice. I really liked that. I li Again, I like that they have a unique... All the tribes seem to act so different. Like, the undead people can, like, AoE around trees and stuff. Just really cool stuff. Hey, is this a lid, guys? Look at that. Oh, man, that means I'm going to have to deal with tape. Hold on, hold on. Maybe not. Cut it. Yeah. That's a lid. That's how we do things here. Look at that guy. Look at that prince. I love his face. He reminds me of the uh, the father from Dinosaurs. You remember that TV show? Or Dinosaur the Not the Mama. You know, that's like the... This is him after he's been called Not the Mama one too many times. That's what this guy is. Love those tails. Though. That's cool. Very neat. Very nice. I like that. Uh, this guy was amazing. Look at him all chained up and pulling the chains. Which those chains came out great. Super liking that. Very nice. Really, pretty good assembly. Again, I don't know if you can get it much more exact than that. So I'll probably fill that up and put some texture in there. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at their... Their shaman dude here. The, the, the snake's coming out and he's like grabbing the snake weird tentacle thing. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't mess with this guy. Very cool. All right. I like it. Again, looks unique, especially painted up. I always wonder what this stuff is. Like they always have like some weird stuff on them sometimes. And not, I mean, not just, just minis in general. Not sure about that. All right, but it's gonna fit real nice, real nice, back into the box. Super helpful for me. And there we go. Look at that. See, I can be clean too. All right. Got a couple more here. Here's Um Toll. This had one of the first minis I saw from the first, like, I don't want to say elite pick. The picture on Twitter that everybody saw. I, I, I'm wondering if Eric Lane posted it, actually, or something like that. Anyway, um, it had this chick writing the, the what kind of warg-looking wolf thing. And, uh, 
I Love Wolves or anything kind of close to it, so I was pretty excited about that. All right. Again, with the lid, you get the stuff here. No tokens for this one. It just depends on their game plan on what they're going to do here. Looks like I might just be able to... You know what? Let's cut it anyway. That, that worked first time. Nice. All right. Again, you guys want to see the prints first, right? Again, I love the Grimace. Really happy about that. That's cool. Um... Looks like really thick kind of weapons here, which I appreciate. Again, he's been shot as well. That's unfortunate, but I can I can gap fill that one pretty easily. It's easier to do it on like a bandage than the fur that I think the other one was. You can see a little bit of the glue where they glued it, but that'll cover right up. It's just shiny, so you can tell the difference there. Really, really, I love the pose. These are, you don't want to step on these. These are sharp. And here's the, uh, Wolf riding chick I mentioned earlier. Again, really appreciate that. I like that. I like that her coat is different than his fur. A lot of times they just do fur the same way, and this would have blended in too much. But I'm glad that it is separate, which is separate than her hair. You can see where her hair stops and starts, which I appreciate. Um, his teeth are showing like that. Very cool. I like that her her uh, her feet aren't touching. Nice little touch there. Oh, this guy's cool. I like this guy. If I can get him out, uh, I play my finger. Like I, I look at his mouth is open. <laughs> that's great. And he's got like that's right. This is the one where they're all like mutated and experimented on or whatever. So like his arms missing here, which I thought was cool. And so the, uh, one of these guys has a third arm. Another one's missing. Like this guy's the one that's. You see, so his arm was cut off like at the elbow, and he's got this blade thing going on, and stuff coming out of his head. Like these weird, experimented, mutated freak people. Um, and here's a guy with three arms. He's got this little, I don't even know if that's a helper arm. That arm doesn't seem to really do a whole lot. I don't know what that gives for. Maybe you can shink people. Um, so, a little bit of flash here. Not much texture here. I'm going to have to check the art. I don't know if this should be a hand or not. Um, which is kind of rough. Well defined muscles here. I like that. Either way, oh, and it's, it look, to me it looks like he's like, ho, oh, oh, ho, like marching, you know? Like he's just, he's just going about his business. <laughs> he's off to battle. That's funny. It's to me, anyway. Alright. I'm not going to spend as much time boxing this one up. You guys wanted to see the stuff, so do I. I'm excited. All right, last one before the Mother Prophecy. This is the kind of undead tree people, the Sarasa. Uh, like, that dude's gonna be awesome. They all look really cool. I'm excited for this one. This is, I don't know if, I know, again, a lot of people use these in other games. I don't know if you could do this like some kind of weird, um, horrific, haunted swamp place in another game or something like that, but, one of, I think, Adrian Smith's uh, better or cooler ideas out of all this. I mean, the whole concept's neat and all. But uh, get back in your space. Look at this dimple. It's supposed to keep you in there. Uh, again, no tokens on this one either. Uh, their their cards are cool because they can, uh, like, again, like I said, like AOE around trees and stuff like that. Like, I really, really like that. And one thing I've been concerned with is how top-heavy their... Uh, Their guy is right. Like, how will he tip over easily? And <laughs> we'll listen. No, nah, he's good. He's good. And I think part of it is because of this bigger base here, and he's attached to it a bit more. But I was kind of worried about that. Look at that, though. Is that not cool? That is like the grossest, nastiest thing. I love it. That's great. I look. I like how it's a uh, going around his sword here. That's cool. Really dig that. Uh, there's some skulls in here. It looks like, it looks like part of an arm used to be, perhaps. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> everything about him is kind of questionable. <laughs> um, they're, uh, what was it, veteran knight? Um, violent, I forget the term. The, the champion. Champion here. Uh, cool skull. Love that. Front and center. It looks like he's got like this beard-looking thing with his mouth. Kind of 
messed up there. Um, he's got this skull here, so here's like the, the whole torso of some dude, and who knows if that's entrails or a root or what. I mean, God only knows at this point. Uh, one whole foot is like tree, while this one is... I don't, I don't know what this guy even used to be. <laughs> don't know. He used to be cool, that's right. Uh, this guy looks like a, a ring wraith. Um, that's a bendy sword. Look at that. Let me show it a little bit of TLC to straighten that. I love him, though. I like how he's, again, kind of crouched a little bit. Part of it's because his stuff's growing on the back, but it also gives him this kind of, like, like maybe he's looking straight, but his, his head's bowed. It gives him a little bit of a creepier kind of vibe. I feel, anyway. The hood helps with that, too, obviously. Man, these guys... <laughs> For some reason, because this looks like a beard, I've always thought this guy's like a dwarf. <laughs> I don't know why. And again, he's, he's kind of smaller. Um, I'm not even sure if he really... I like he's got toes. He has little baby toes. Um, yeah, these guys are gross. I love it. It's great. It's cool. Some of them, again, more to find than others. He's, he's, he's not even able to like, look at what he's doing. Um, I'm not sure how effective he is in battle at this point. But that's insane again so fine i don't know if i'll be able to paint like yeah i don't know if a dry brush will work i might have to just slash them or something i don't know all right guys well we have the art book we have the mother prophecy how about i tease you a bit longer and we do the art book first i'm excited for that anyway now as a painter, I always... Ah, I'm glad they put some effort into keeping this nice. Um, as a painter, I always appreciate an art book so I can see the art. Though it's not always good. Like, the art book in Rising Sun was printed kind of dark. And so everything looks darker than it should be if you look at it, you know, anywhere else. Uh, digitally or, or whatever. Um, or even, like, on the cards in the game and stuff. And so it wasn't really that useful. And I like stuff that... You know, you could put on a... I don't know if you want to put this on a coffee table. It depends on your coffee table. Or if you even have one. Um, but where you can actually read it and kind of just learn more about it. Or something interesting interesting that you would maybe want. Not just full art. So, if we open this up. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Very nice. Um, this looks... I mean, again, it looks like something. See, there's a little pygmy guy again. Something you would buy. Uh, so, a little bit here. I don't know if... Okay, so you got some concept art here on them kind of making him and working on it, and very cool. Love this. So not a lot of reading here. Um, I believe there is some short story, so we'll, we'll, look, we'll look into it. Um, yeah, so see, this is one of them. Uh, let's see, what do, we, what do we got here? Let's go back into here. Sketch the mercenaries, mother prophecy. I was gonna go to some random. So this is kind of how Rising Sun was, right? It was just this. You didn't get these kind of uh, story introductions. I believe they're to like each tribe or whatever. Ah, see, here we go. Look at this. So you know, there's a little bit here. So this is something you could actually kind of leaf through and read and learn about, and then still kind of uh, get that full art that you want. So there's more to it than just that, which I really appreciate. Uh, very cool that you can do that. Here's the Umkal. I think you're going to get a little introduction to him. You'll be able to... Uh, there was a maw there. And then you get into the actual character art for each one of the Umtul. Again, same thing. Very cool. Very... Oh, look at that dude. Love it. Very cool. Very thick, too. This is nice. I like that a lot. All right. All right. The Mother Prophecy. Let's do it. Let's wrap this baby up. Again, I'm going to be painting this. If you have any preferences on what you want to see me paint, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I will obviously be reading all those and talking to you guys down in the comments below as so we can kind of discuss whether you've got the game or not. Maybe you got a better shipment than I did. Maybe you got a worse shipment. I had a few issues with mine, as you could see. Um, if yeah, if you have a preference on that, if you've played it already and maybe have an opinion, I'd love to know. 
Uh, I'll be coming up with my own kind of first impressions review once I get a game or two in it. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time so I can get that out to you guys quickly. I um, love this guy, by the way. He's cool. From like the Moon Clan, or whatever you want to call him. Come on. It's a lot harder without not all your fingers. Special rules. Very cool. So this is a little bit more advanced, as you can see. It's because they have like this mounted person and stuff on it. Um, some scenarios. I think this is to be able to to uh, get the mercenaries that are in this. Because the other ones are just tribe boxes, right? This is actually some extra mercenaries. And you can't, you can only get some mercenaries from some uh, missions or whatever. Look at that. Oh, it's so awesome. All right. Let's see, so you just get, get in their, their cards here. Uh, this looks different. Or, hmm, interesting. But let's, let's take this out. How's it ever? It is. It's on all four sides. Because they hate me. Got it out anyway. All right, let's look at this guy first. Again, look at the face. I mean, I love when they have facial detail enough to give them expressions. Um, I don't know if this is it. You know, I never really paid attention. Are his horns supposed to be now upsided? Maybe. Maybe so. Don't know. I'll have to check. Again, this is really curved. It's always kind of, you know, it's always hard to tell. Like, is this supposed to be straight? I don't think so. I think this might be supposed to be curved. It's supposed to be straight. I don't know. Oh, like, he's got, like, skulls in his flesh. See, again, here's that kind of recoloration that you always kind of get. Like, it was, like, again, coming out of, like, whatever this is. Like, just really cool-looking dude. I dig him. All right, here is the mother herself, uh, representative of, like, Mother Earth. You can think of her like that, so that's kind of, again, why she's coming out of, like, the earth here. Um, and this hair here. She's always painted white, but this hair makes me want to paint her um, as an African-American. I think that'd be really cool. Um, my daughter would love that, but, uh, yeah, she's she's really cool. And, again, all to scale, um, but I like how tall she is. So she's got some board presence. But speaking of board presence, so this is the first one. And look at that horse. Look at how armored... <laughs> Her, her horses like that is crazy what the heck is like really she's like i don't know she's rattling these or what you know she's almost galloping in like the british are coming but with skulls um very cool horse super armored again love her hair the hair they do on some of these women are just really kind of cool um I, I like how wavy and curly it is it's not straight and it's not like I don't know. It, it's curled in a different way than I think you normally get. I like how she's holding this all the way out here. Um, oh, so that's just all one weapon by the looks of it. Very cool, though. And then... <laughs> this is so heavy. <laughs> Look at this guy. Like, crazy. Like, that is huge. Look at this! Like, just look how big everything is. Like, he's huge. And talk about scary. And he's missing... This weapon. Found it. This is weapon. It's right there. That makes me kind of sad. I, I mean, I bet I can fix that okay. I'm, I'm actually... Looks like a clean cut. But man, is he big. I wonder if I broke it when I put it in there. That'd be bad. Um, uh, so I'm actually fine with the gap here. I'm okay with that. Um, very, very cool. I mean, just layer upon layer upon layer. Awesome. Awesome. Super excited about that. I don't know which way he goes in. How do you, how do you go back in? Pay attention how these guys go in. You crush your blade, that's what you do. Yeah, so was this, where was this blade supposed to be? I don't know. Alright guys, that is everything you can get in hate. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. I hope you got to get a sense of, you know, the, the quality you get and the stuff that you get. And uh, maybe there was something here you didn't get and now you can feel good about not getting it or wish you had or I don't know what, what you guys get out of this. But... I will be back soon with a first impressions review with a painting. 
been stoked to paint this for quite some time now. I have some ideas on what to do with the bases to make them kind of unique and stuff like that. Super looking forward to that. So again, subscribe if you haven't yet and you want to see this kind of gaming content. It's kind of in-depth look at all this stuff. I take the time to make sure that you know everything there is to know about these games so that you can make a better consumer purchase. And uh, like the video if you liked it, all that jazz. Check out my Patreon, I already mentioned that. And uh, it looks like his sword was totally supposed to go there and it just got curved and it got put in the box bad. See what I'm talking about? See, stuff like this. Stuff like little things, little things. All right guys, I'll talk to you soon.